Hi, I'm Richard Lewis, and it's uh, the second full day of DreamHack Winter 2013. And I've turned my attentions away from Counter-Strike, and I'm looking at StarCraft 2 today. What a great place to start with one of uh, America's most beloved players uh, uh, in the region. It is, of course, Polt from CM Storm. So, it's great to finally get to meet you and to get to interview you. Your DreamHack experience so far hasn't been particularly... Uh, great because on the first day you had all sorts of problems when you arrived mm -hmm. so let's talk a little bit about the travel problems uh, just tell us your ridiculous story yeah actually the flight from New York to London was delayed a little bit so I, I missed my connecting flight so I had like more eight I had layover time like eight hours it was very bad but it can happen I think it can happen but okay. next <laughs> they lost my baggage. <laughs> it's terrible. Really. Uh, uh, and what was in your bag? Though? I mean, it, it was everything, wasn't it? Everything. Like? <laughs> <laughs> but fortunately, in my backpack, I had my keyboard and mouse, so I could play. Wow, just as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, did you think coming into the event after that happened that maybe it was a curse? It was a bad sign. Mm -hmm. Were you worried? Um. I, I don't care about like super superstitions, okay. but it's actually bad <laughs> for me. <laughs> I couldn't wear, I couldn't change my clothes, I couldn't wear my, my uniforms. I didn't have any like toothbrush or yeah. anything, so I had to buy a new one. Mm -hmm. It was really bad. <laughs> um, it, and it turned out, I mean, all due respect, uh, it was a bad day as well at the office. So you had some, t I mean, you know, tough results, tough games. Uh, you lost a lot, uh, and I wasn't expecting that. Um, and you lost games I thought you would win. So was that because of how you were playing, or was it because of everything around it? You know, the, the lost baggage, all the problems. Actually, everything is very important. Everything can affect my yeah. skill, mm -hmm. my condition. But I can't say I <laughs> lose because of that. <laughs> Maybe uh, the reason I lost is my skill level, my strategy or mm. something like that. But fortunately, I saved the day, so yeah. I'm still in the tournament. Yeah, you are, and uh, you scraped through in fourth place, but today, much, much better. You're looking very improved, uh, and I, 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 well, I think you're looking very sharp. I mean, do you feel like on top of your game right now? Or do you feel a lot better than yesterday? Um, the important thing is, um, you know, I had a really long and tough game with mm. Hyun, yeah. it makes me very stronger. Yeah. I mean, it because it was a very long game and I won it, it means I'm, I, I just did the boot and everything in the boost condition. Mm. So I think I can play better next day. Yeah. Um, well, I, I don't want to talk too much about uh, the DreamHack tournament while it's still uh, ongoing. We'll, we'll come back to that a little bit at the end. But I, so many questions I want to ask you. Uh, I want to talk about being part of WCS America and indeed being a WCS American champion. You know, it's, mm -hmm. you've won it. A lot of people see it as the weakest region. Um, and, uh, you know, do you feel that that is true? Do you feel that there's not a lot of competition there for you? If there is only Native Americans, then I think that's right, the yeah. weakest region, but right now there are like very many Koreans in there. Mm. Um, in Minsk, it's not that weak right now. And I think top, not 32 or 32 players, but I think top 4 or 8 players are as good as the Korean players. Mm. Um, can you explain why, in your opinion, you think there isn't any top American talent? Like, we see lots of great American personalities as players, but not many great American players uh, in terms of skill. Do, do you have any idea why, why that is? Because Europeans are doing okay. Like, mm. not, not amazingly, <laughs> but okay. I think to figure it out, I need to watch how they practice mm. or how they prepare for their match because I don't know what they are doing so I know how Koreans prepare for their match how Koreans practice but I don't have any idea about foreigners so if I can experience their practice or something mm. like that then 
I think I can figure it out, but I have no idea yet. So my next question following on from that would be your thoughts about region locking. Uh, because I think it is going to happen. I mean, I don't think that's a secret. I think everybody knows we are going to go down the region locking route in StarCraft. But here you are. You're somebody who's kind of been a pioneer. You know, you've moved. You moved to a, a new region. You've yep. learned a new language, you know. Um, do you think region locking is a good thing or a bad thing for the game? Uh, I think partial part of region lock is good thing, but mm. I don't think it's good to uh, lock everyone just playing for natural. Mm. Uh, I mean, native yeah. Americans. It's not good. But right now it's okay. But the problem is there are so many Koreans already in Premier League. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of you guys in StarCraft. Uh, it turns out it's, you're, you like the game. You're very good at it, you Korean guys. Um, I don't know if anyone knew that. But uh, uh, but here's, here's what's interesting, I think, with you. I, I think a lot of people are almost resentful, a little bit uh, hostile towards Koreans coming and playing in other regions. Yeah, everybody loves you. Everyone in America, you're a fan favorite. This is true. This is absolutely true. You know it. You've seen the crowds. So they cheer for you. They love you. So do you feel that, in a way, you're representative of a new breed of Koreans, people who will embrace learning English and being more open to foreign fans? Well, what, yeah, I know. The, so what's the exact question? Well, I mean, do, do you think that if more people were like you, more Koreans were like you, more Koreans would be popular with Americans and Europeans? Well, um, to be honest, I think, I know I've heard a few Korean players are trying to move mm -hmm. to the US or EU because they know it's uh, very risk respectful to that region fans and it's also good for themselves and I think it will make a very positive effect to the StarCraft to scene mm. and to the players yeah, yeah. Uh, what about though in, in terms of culture how have you found America culturally uh, I've, I've interviewed Violet uh, in the past and he loves it he loves it in America really does uh, have you found it easy to adapt um, at the first time it was very tough for me I had to figure out everything because it's very new yeah but right now I adjusted most things so I don't have any um, it's very easy to do everything mm. for me right now so the only one problem is I'm not that good at English right now. <laughs> I, I disagree. I think you're doing very well. Uh, not a lot of people can understand me, so you're, do you're doing very well. Um, here's another question for you. Uh, at tournaments in the past, I've seen you You interact with the crowd. You interact with the fans. You, you know, give it th thumbs down. You have a very big personality. And we're not used to seeing that from Koreans. How much of that is genuinely like the real polls, and how much of that is for the uh, theatrics, for the hype? Um, I just want to say everything is genuinely me. It's yeah. real me. If I think it's not real, then I would not do that. Yeah. Uh, but so no one like your managers of anyone has said, can you be a bit more, you know? And um, well, my manager can say that, but I do what I want to do. Just. You heard it here first. <laughs> Paul, he does what he wants to do. Uh, okay, so let's talk a little bit about CM Storm. Uh, I think it's great, uh, the kind of players that they pick up. I'm, and I, I'm a good friend with Panda Tank. I think he's amazing, great guy. Um, it's very interesting. So how did you find yourself uh, as part of that organization? Because I think with your pedigree, maybe people would have placed you with perhaps a bigger brand. Um, actually... Um, everything about sponsorships is not my part. It's not my job. My manager right. does that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, so he's a personal manager, like to, to you, not the organization. I didn't uh, know. That. He's my personal manager. Yeah. Well, how, so do you know? Sort of. I mean, was it they approached him? Did he approach CM Storm? Was it? Were you just lucky? I mean, uh, you must have had a few offers. Um, I didn't ask about him, but <laughs> so I don't exactly know. 
<laughs> That's all right. I won't put you on the spot. I won't put you on uh, the spot. I'm sorry. It's no, 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 no. It's good. It's good. I just play games. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that's how you got to be, man. That's how you got to be. Um, okay, so let's let's talk about those games. Uh, Dreamhack. I want you to imagine for just two minutes, okay, that you're not in the tournament anymore, right? Just imagine mm-hmm. that you've come here to spectate, right? Cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. H- looking at all the players that are left, who would win? And Except w- me. Yeah, y- not you. Uh, I think my favorite is Teja. And why? Um, it's really looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, be, be a bit more detailed. Because you understand these things. I don't understand the game at all. So why is Teja looking so good right now? Uh, I mean, he's won recently. He's won four tournaments this year. And he's play he's been playing very well and he's already at the top four in the winner semifinals. Well, there's many reasons he can win this tournament. So now what we're gonna do is we're mm-hmm. gonna put you back in. Mm-hmm. How far do you think you can go? I mean, can Polt really win this DreamHack? Because there's always a surprise. I mean DreamHack always has surprise winners, I think. So could it be you? Literally, it's possible. <laughs> I can win. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the only one thing I'm worrying about is I think I should play so many matches tomorrow. Mm. So I think I could be a little bit tired. Yeah, I, I think, think so. it's the only one problem. Okay, and uh, what would you be happy with? Like, if you, wh- how far would you need to go? To be happy. Last day? Um, I think the finals. I like it. A man <laughs> who knows what he wants. Look, I know you've uh, had a long day and you've still got games to go. So thank you very much for uh, doing this interview. It's been great to talk to you in person. I think you're a great character. Uh, and I'll let you do some shout outs and say thank you to your sponsors because I nearly forgot. Yeah, uh, I, I really want to thank you to my sponsor, CM Storm. And I also want to say thank you to my fans. I got recovered, so I think I can show you better games tomorrow. I, I hope so. Uh, I hope so, but I, I think you will. You're looking good now. Uh, right, so there you go. That was the mighty Polt uh, from CM Storm. Thanks very much for watching, and do stay tuned. We're going to have more interviews like this one from here with DreamHack Winter 2013.